And a good evening, everyone. Jeremy here, quantstrategic.com.sg. And the market recap for Singapore, Straits Times Index for the month closing of January. And we're going to start off the new week, uh, 1st of February. And uh, just as a broad overview of the uh, Singapore market, uh, as you know, we are still in a long-term downtrend since the 1st of October 2018. And uh, we are finding some difficulty uh, with the SDI trying to recover uh, compared to the US markets, whereby the Straits Times Index is still stuck below the SSSB line of this cloud. And this particular cluster remains stubbornly below the SSSB line, still on a bearish uh, disposition and uh, able to crack the target of 3108, which I've been writing, writing in my blog for uh, the past couple of months now. And uh, with the start of February 2021, the SDI closed on Friday at 2,902 following the weakness of the US as well as European markets. So currently, uh, 3,108 uh, points seems to be the target that is not attainable for the moment. And we need to see how uh, the trading weeks of February starts next week and see what happens with the Straits Times Index. Currently, uh, the Kijun line at 2813 forms an initial support for this, up tr uh, for this uh, recovery of the Straits Times Index. And uh, we need to see uh, what happens uh, as we approach Monday. So with the long-term view of the Straits Times Index still in the bear market, uh, the current weekly trend, the medium uptrend of the STI, which is supporting that recovery, uh, since the pandemic lows in 2020 uh, with a long signal currently at the uh, 7th of November targeting 3108 has failed to materialize and we witnessed this uh, candlestick right here testing exactly at the level 2906, 2902 level and uh, it has closed at 2902 just below the uh, Kijun line or correction, the Tikun line at 2906. So where we're going to be heading next is an important pivot point at 2782, which just uh, coincides with the SSSB line on this particular cloud formation. And uh, the support at 2782 is very important for the Straits Times Index to continue its uptrend if it's ever going to test 3108 and above. All right, so watch out uh, for this uh, particular first level at 2906. If it does not hold, we're going to go to 2782 to test the cloud line of this particular breakout. So to see what's happening, what's stopping the Straits Times from breaking its bearish long term, as well as a weakening weekly outlook. We look at the uh, shorter term charts, starting with the daily charts, all right? So on the daily charts, you notice that uh, we had a short signal on the 28th of uh, January, uh, last Thursday, uh, targeting 2906 and 2782. And this 2782 level is your weekly pivot point, all right? So uh, what's gonna happen is that you wanna see uh, with this particular short signal issued here, whether price is able to break through this particular cloud and trade below this particular region right here, shown by this uh, projection line. All right, so if prices continue to trade around this area, then more weakness is coming to the Straits Times Index. So on, alternatively, all right, we want to see uh, for the STI to resume its uptrend, either a bounce from the SSSA line towards this pivot of 3010 and then moving upwards or a bounce at the SSSB line to test the pivot at 3010. All right, if these two cases happen, then we could have a little bit of a range for the SDI uh, to continue its uptrend. Otherwise, a break below the cloud region, all right, it will cause uh, a little bit of a bearish pressure on the Straits Times Index if the STI breaks below the SSS B line, which is shown underneath the cloud at this portion that I've highlighted here. So look out for 2782, uh, which is right about here, this particular level. And if it breaks down, 
then you have a little bit of bearish pressure on the Straits Times Index moving forward. Looking at the four hourly chart, it's more of the same. Uh, it's just that the four hourly chart released a short signal much earlier than the daily chart. The short signal was issued at a higher level as well at 2963 on the 26th of January. All right, so a little bit earlier than the daily charts, targeting same 2906 or 2782, which is your pivot point on the weekly chart. So all these levels, I will be uh, putting it on my blog. Uh, just go to quantstrategic.com.sg and you can have a look at all the levels there uh, to watch. So what you want to watch for the four hour, uh, you can see that price closed around here trying to violate this SSSB line on the cloud. And once a cluster forms around here, all right, you will confirm the weakness of the STI if persistently the price action falls below this particular SSSB line, which is at 2901. So as a summation, the uh, Straits Times Index on a long-term basis is still bearish, trading below the SSSB cloud line, long-term-wise still bearish on the downtrend. Uh, to, in order to break this uh, downtrend, we need to close above 3108, which is uh, not happening yet. And uh, the current big support that we have is on the weekly pivot charts uh, on the super trend line, which is uh, at 2782. So the weaknesses on the daily chart as well as the four hourly chart uh, with a short signal on the 28th of Jan as well as the 26th of January targeting this particular level 2782 has to be seen and uh, we will see uh, further evidence of weakness in the STI. And for those of you uh, who go to the uh, website, you'll be able to find the STI metrics and you will see from the metrics that you can see the weakness in all the property shares as well as the property REITs that are facing weaknesses, all of them having short-term sales, uh, the banks as well, uh, which is uh, uh, which was actually uh, instrumental in uh, this V-shaped uh, rally that the STI had for the past six months. They are now weakening and also a huge drop in capital corp. All right, so you can get all this information on the uh, downloadable Excel sheet uh, on the website. All right, so uh, stay tuned for the next updates. I will catch you again. Stay safe and happy trading.